everybody. Today's video is going to be on the Chattered Angels Naturally Aged Kits in concrete. So this one's really cool because it actually ends up looking like concrete. Well actually all of them end up looking like what they're supposed to look like but this one's just really neat and unique and you never ever see projects or layouts that look like concrete which this is fun for us because you know Blake's in kindergarten and he plays outside, he plays basketball and all that good stuff so this is a perfect texture for any kind of layout background or album page. So I'm using um, brushed cotton cream tattered angels paper. Um, this is a really, really cool paper. It has a really soft texture. You just kind of want to feel it all day. It tends to be a favorite. And the great thing about this paper is it really holds the mediums really well and helps them dry faster. Um, so that's what we're going to be using. And you're going to need a fan brush today and a large regular brush or you can just continue to use your fan brush for blotting. So we're going to start off with the first step. Like all the naturally aged kits, you have a five step, four to five step process. Um, sometimes a little more, sometimes a little less. So we're going to start with step one and we're going to come up with this. So the first step is to take your fan brush and your high impact tan paint. This is the high impact pigment and you're going to cover the whole surface of your paper and you're going to be very generous with this. You want it to puddle so don't try to smooth it out. At first I kind of brush it on smooth to cover the surface and then I get really thick with it. You want some of the paint to puddle up because we're going to get a really fun texture with your heat tool in a minute. So if some of it looks really thick and it's kind of puddling that's a good thing. And this high impact pigment paint is um, really opaque so you can use it for all sorts of things. So now you're going to take your heat tool and you're going to hold it about one to two inches away until the paint starts to bubble. So as the paint starts to bubble in some areas you can move on. Hold it there for a while longer and then just move on and get the rest of it to bubble. It's going to bubble in the areas where the paint has puddled. And bubbling is a good thing. All right, so it doesn't take too long. The next step is to take your Boardwalk Glimmer Mist, give it a good little shake, and you're gonna spray all over this baby, and you're gonna wanna spray a little heavier in some areas and lighter in others. And then you're gonna go ahead and blot that with your fan brush a little bit, just to kind of get um, like a funky, blotted effect like this. You don't want it to be like a perfect mist everywhere. You want it to be kind of messed up in certain areas. So just kind of do that and then you're going to dry it. So I kind of wave my heat tool around the whole surface evenly so I can get it nice and dry all over at an even rate. You don't have to do this, but it kind of helps. Don't worry about the little drips and things. You kind of want those on there. All right, once you've done that, you're going to take your Valencia Chalkboard Mist. This is an, a more opaque mist than the Glimmer Mist. And you're gonna stay, you're gonna stay in certain areas. So I'm gonna, you can do one to two areas where you do it pretty concentrated. And I just kind of barely spritz. So I don't try to get it too heavy on there. And then you're gonna go ahead and blot that as well. I'm rinsing my fan brush as I go. 
So you can blot that in the thicker areas. And then you're gonna go ahead and dry. Alright, and then your last step is to take the white, which is the chalk, chalkboard mist, and you're going to hold it about five to six inches away, and you're going to cover the whole area. Nice, fine mist. And then you're going to let it dry. And that is what you get, really funky concrete. It looks like a stone, a garden stone almost. And um, like I said in the past videos, you can always repeat some of the steps if you want to. In this case, if you wanted to get a little bit more gray in there, I would repeat the boardwalk step, the Valencia step, and the chalkboard step, which is the last three. So I'm just gonna show you really quick what it looks like when you kind of go back in and touch it up how you like. So I'm coming in with chalkboard now and I'm just adding a little bit more gray. I'm gonna dry this up. So this is the great thing about these paint systems is you can make it um, as colorful as you want or as subtle as you want. And you can always go back and add and kind of customize it to your liking. So if you wanted something a little bit more gray, you can go back in with that boardwalk mist and do what I just did and leave it just like that. Or you could repeat all three of those steps. And I'm just going to blot this one slightly. And that was the Valencia. So all I'm doing is repeating the last three steps just to get my paint color a little more intense and a little more gray in there. And then the last step was fine mist of the chalkboard, about five or six inches away. And you'll see that this paper allows this paint to dry a lot faster, which is kind of cool. And even after you paint it, it still has that really fun, smooth texture. So there it is, after going back in and, and repeating the last three steps. And then there's the other one. So see, you kind of get a different look every time. Um, but it still looks like concrete, which is a lot of fun. All right, that's it for this video. And don't forget, this is a series, so we'll check back often because we'll be doing um, technique videos on all of the kits that we have. And here's a peek at bamboo, which is a lot of fun. I think I'm going to do that one next. And this one is turquoise. And then this one is whitewashed pine. So check back often. I hope you guys like it, and I hope you try it. Bye.